Carly was feeling pretty ganged up on. I'm not sure it's good to push her into a corner like that. Well, she has to admit that she has a problem. Rosanna's right. She's in denial, Craig, and that's not healthy. Come on, you want to do what's best for her, right? Of course I do. Well, then you have to make sure that she gets herself into a rehab. Yes, why don't, why don't you see to her release from here? Rosanna and I will do some research. We'll find a facility that can take Carly right away and start making preliminary arrangements. But we all have to be together on this. If we are, then I'm pretty sure that Carly will see that this is for the best. She has got to get better for her children. I agree. Good. We'll get the ball rolling. You bring Carly back to her place, and then we can take it from there. And no matter what she says, you know what she needs, don't you? Yes, I do. Good. We'll see you later. Okay, you're good to go. Doctor says all you have to do is sign the release forms, and I can take you home. Oh, thank God. It will be fast enough for me. There is one thing, though. He's worried about you. He said that if you hadn't gotten here in time, you might not have made it. I'm not going to make a mistake like that again, Craig. You believe that, don't you? I want to, Carly. But I also believe that you were sober before the wedding, and you weren't. Don't treat me like everybody else does. I can get through this if you have faith in me. I believe that you're serious about getting well, but I don't think you can do it on your own. How could I ever be on my own? I'll have you. You'll help me, won't you? You, you? you always say we can do anything together. We make a great team. I'm partly responsible for getting you into this. We're past that, right? Well, we will be if we do what it takes. I promise you, Carly, wherever you have to go to get better, I'll be there. I'll be nearby. I promise you. Hey. If you send me off to some rehab, they'll separate us. They'll cut me off from everybody I love. They'll put me through hell, and I... I won't be able to take that, Greg. I admit that I have a problem. And if you love me, you can help me fix it. You can get me through it. Carly, I love you. And I want what's best for you. Most of all, I want you to get well. If you mean that, then take me away. We don't have to tell anybody where we're going. And we can stay there until I'm better. I wish that's all it would take. It is. I know it is. Please don't send me away. I need you. It's perfect. Thought you might like it. I love it. It's beautiful and romantic. Tried to find the most isolated spot I could. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't see a house within 10 miles. Oh, I know it's isolated, but don't worry. I'll be here the whole time. <laughs> You'll be safe. I'm not worried. I'm happy. You bringing me here was the most thoughtful thing you could have done for me. What can I do? I love you. I love you, too. The way you stood by me when Jack and Rosanna wanted to send me away, I will never forget that. I don't... I don't know how I'll ever thank you. I'm sure we'll think of something. Mm. You know, this, this reminds me of a place in Montana where I spent some of the happiest times of my life. Really? Guess I picked the right one. I guess you did. Actually, I did it for the both of us. Getting away together is something I thought we'd needed for a while. Yeah. And, you know, even though technically we're not married, this does feel a bit like a honeymoon, doesn't it? You're right. Maybe I should get a little atmosphere going then, huh? Feel like a fire? I'd love it. Okay. I need, uh, uh, twigs or something. <laughs> like 
rubbing two sticks together? No, I'm clueless, but not that clueless. No, I know what they're called. It's, um... Oh, um, kindling. kindling! Thank you! Why don't you just use the paper there? Good idea. Ah. Uh, See, so you've had a little experience with this. Obviously more than you. I hope that doesn't hurt your pride. My pride is not an issue when I'm with you. You've already taught me something much more important. Yeah, what's that? How to love unconditionally, unselfishly. I don't want someone else's happiness more than my own. Loving you has made me a better man. That was a nurse on Carly's floor. She said that Craig checked Carly out of the hospital over an hour ago. Well, then they definitely should have been here by now, unless Carly convinced him to drop her off at a bar. Maybe it was a mistake to think that Craig could ever be good for Carly. Oh, I have been saying that all along. I just, I guess I just wanted to believe it for Carly's sake, you know? But how can it be good for Carly if Craig deliberately ignores what she's been doing? Oh, even worse than that, he's been covering for her. It's no wonder. It's no wonder she got so drunk at the wedding, because on some level, she, she knew that marrying Craig was a big mistake means it's even more dangerous that she's with him now. I just hope that he brings her home before it's too late. Well, I wish we could freeze this moment. Just stay right here. Where are you going? You know, I thought I'd never want to set eyes on food again, but I'm starving now. I think we passed a pancake house down the road. You want to go there? No, it's uh, it's too late for breakfast. Um, maybe there's something here I can make. It's tomato sauce, fava beans. You can make some pasta if there is any. Pasta. Well, there's a general store at the turnaround. Why don't we go get some? Um, why don't you go ahead? And I'll just, um, I'll start the sauce. It's hardly any rush. It'll be a nice drive. Come on. No, I'm sick of the car. Really, what is this? You don't, you don't trust me? There's no alcohol here. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to make you feel like a prisoner. You don't have to worry. This place is too remote for me to get into any trouble. You go ahead, you get the pasta, and I'll have the sauce simmering when you get back. Okay. I won't be long. Oh, finally. Jack. Nope, it's Craig. Glad I caught you. Why are you calling me? What's going on over there? But if by over there you mean at Carly's, we're not there. I thought that you were going to take her out of the hospital and then put her into rehab. Yeah, that was the original plan. Uh, we decided to do things differently. What do you mean? It means we're taking care of it ourselves. Taking Carly away. I'm going to make sure that she's not drinking. Oh, are you sure you can handle that? I'm positive. Did you tell Jack and Rosanna? That's why I'm calling you. I'd like you to tell Jack so that he and Rosanna know that Carly is just fine. She won't be back for a while. And I'll make sure that she gets better. Why don't you call Jack yourself? Because I don't feel like arguing with him, that's why. Ah, uh, this doesn't feel right. And I'm not looking for anyone's permission. And I don't want to fight about it. Now just tell everyone that Carly's in good hands and she's going to be fine. 